Hello everyone, welcome to my General Hospital official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. As they resumed their chat at the Corinthos Coffee Warehouse, Carly Spencer noted that Jason Morgan had adopted a new saying, copy that. This is according to the General Hospital's spoilers recap for Monday, April 15. Additionally, Carly updated Jason on Sonny Corinthos' obsession with Nina Corinthos during Nixon Falls and how, when she arrived at his ultimatum an hour late, she discovered them in bed together. In the GH episode that aired on Monday, Carly then revealed to Jason how she may have turned on Sonny using information that Michael Corinthos obtained from Dex Heller. She also revealed how enraged Sonny was upon learning of everything. Jason gave Carly a hug of consolation and said that there was a limit to how far Sonny could push him. Carly made a suggestion that her life would have been better had she stayed in love with Jason, but he seemed to like their current connection. While waiting for Nina to return to her office at Crimson, Ava Jerome, Mora West, took out a baggie that included a few of Sonny's stolen drugs. Ava called to have those drugs examined, and then Nina came in and demanded an update on her marriage. Ava acknowledged that Sonny frequently prepared a drink whenever Nina's name was mentioned and that he disliked hearing it. Despite this, Ava pretended that things had improved because Sonny's feelings were still being impacted by Nina. Ava thought she could strike when the time was right and show Sonny how much he wanted to be with Nina again. Nina stated that she thought Jason would give Carly her share of the Metro court after he offered to buy it from her. Ava lied and said that Sonny would be greatly touched by the gesture when Nina questioned whether selling to Jason's best buddy would get her points. Rather of focusing on the new cream she was meant to be selling, Lucy Co., Lynn Herring, at the Home and Heart Studio made the deception presentation all about herself. Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, was dispatched by Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, and Brooke Lynn Quartermain to assist, but he was unable to help Lucy get back on track. When Brooke Lynn hinted that she could have one final Hail Mary, she tried calling Sasha Gilmore's number, but got no response. Tracy Quartermain was thrilled when Kobe Bell at the Quartermain stables told her that Sasha had successfully repaired her damaged saddle. Gregory Chase also made a quick visit at the main home to inform Lois Cirillo that he would not be bringing a plus one. However, Lois had to leave right away since she received a call from Brooke Lynn. Tracy was excited to share a table with Gregory after she discovered him and learned of Alexis Davis's cancellation. After Lois arrived at the stables and informed Sasha about the situation at home and heart, Sasha hurried to the studio where she somehow rescued the day while wearing her overalls. Following Sasha's successful rescue of the segment and impressive sales figures, Haven de Havilland extended her regret for all the previous drama. She created a list of possible pikemen operatives and their outcomes in Anna Devane's office, but she included a question mark next to Valentin Cassadane's name. Anna noticed that John Jagger Cates was quite injured upon his arrival and was curious as to what had happened. John gave an account of being marked, albeit he didn't think it was a true incident because nothing was taken and it happened close to the Corinthos Coffee Processing Facility. John predicted that Sonny and Jason would team up after disclosing how he was following Diane Miller. Given that Sonny had just visited in an attempt to press additional accusations against Jason, Anna played down that suggestion. After John mentioned that Carly would scare the thugs away, Anna pushed John to stop using Jason as pikeman bait because Jason was risking a lot. Don't miss all the action because General Hospital spoilers indicate that Jason will be taking more risks soon. Tuesday, April 16 General Hospital teasers indicate that Maxie Jones will talk to Felicia Scorpio about her anxieties. Maxie will question how she can be certain that nothing negative will occur if she allows Damien Spinelli back in. Maxie cannot be able to know for sure, and Felicia might concede that there is always a danger involved with love. Nonetheless, Maxie has faith in her emotions and in Spinelli's return affection, so perhaps that's sufficient justification for taking the risk. 
he'll approach Jordan Ashford and ask if she'd want to come out and play after getting over with Brick. Brick will get a smile in return from Jordan, so we'll see if she accepts or declines his request. Gregory Chase at GH will detect Elizabeth Baldwin's discomfort and inquire as to the nature of the issue. In the end, Liz will confide in Gregory, so she may disclose to Jake Weber some of the fears she is currently facing as a result of this circumstance. Elizabeth may feel that she isn't managing all of the drama surrounding Jason Morgan despite her best efforts to be a mother. Gregory might give Liz some motivation because he is aware of what a fantastic mother she is. As Hamilton Finn, Michael Easton, expresses concerns about Gregory's quick decline, Alexis Davis will update him on her attempts to practice law once more and offer her support. In order to ensure that Brooke Lynn Quartermain and Harrison Chase are in agreement on money matters prior to being married, they'll also have an honest discussion regarding money. Laura Collins and Anna Devane will come to a realization during their upcoming conversation. Laura will eventually say that it is not her call to make, but she will believe that she is the one who should make the call. This will bring up the subject of Laura's next conversation with Cyrus Renault, specifically whether or not he would think about filing charges against Sonny Corinthos. Jocelyn Jacks will hear the truth from Trina Robinson while they're out for a run. Trina has been feeling disoriented and mired in a fog ever since she lost Spencer Cassadine. Trina may be referring to her sense of direction and clarity when she says that she doesn't think it will return no matter what she does. It appears that while out for his own run, Dex Heller will break up Jocelyn and Trina's exercise routine. As a result of the potentially difficult situations, Trina will press Jocelyn and Dex to share more details about their split. Dex will put all of his effort into completing his police training in the future. Dex may want to show Jocelyn and everyone else that he is, at his core, a nice man because he has a history of saying he will do whatever it takes. It appears like Sonny will next meet with Brick to find out what he has in store for him. Brick has been investigating, so we'll see whether he has any information regarding Jason's absence or his FBI deal. Here are additional predictions about Sonny's revenge from General Hospital spoilers, which indicate that he will grow more vindictive and suspicious of most individuals in his life. On the next General Hospital, Maxie confides in Felicia she's worried about taking Spinelli back if things go south. Brick asks Jordan, can you come out and play? Gregory asks someone if there is a problem. Laura tells someone that's not her call to make, but she does know whose it is. Joss and Trina are out for a run and Trina confides, I don't think it's ever coming back no matter what I do. A shirtless Dex, in the same park, says he's going to do whatever it takes. Sonny asks someone what they have for him. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.